Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the impact case from Juggernaut. Uh, you may have seen uh, these cases in a lot of photos and videos of real operators. As you know, uh, smartphones are becoming uh, useful tools uh, on the battlefield. A lot of real operators uh, are using it for you know, more situational awareness. Uh, they can connect smartphones to radios and things like that. So it is normal that this will translate to airsoft also. Of course, not, uh, not as advanced as real operators do, but there are a ton of applications. For example, we have been using a lot uh, over the past uh, months Ares Alpha, which is very interesting for airsoft events. Uh, we also use SIFTAC. We also use, of course, messaging apps when you know our radars are not working very well. Uh, we may use you know uh, messaging apps to contact our teammates uh, or faction leaders. Uh, so there are a lot of possibilities with these powerful devices. And of course, companies also develop pouches and cases. Um, uh, the one that we are going to see today is this one, which is the impact case. Um, of course, uh, almost forgot, don't forget to check out our uh, sponsors, Combat Systems, uh, Gators Eyewear, and our partner, Contractor House. Use our promo code BISHTA10 on their website. Uh, I've been using the uh, impact case for about two years now. I started with the old bumper for my iPhone 6, uh, and then I moved on to the impact. Uh, Juggernaut has uh, a lot of different cases. Uh, it has the impact, it has the sleeve, uh, it also has cases for uh, tablets. Um, so uh, we are just going to give you a rundown uh, of the impact today, which is the one that we have more experience with. The other guy on the team that uses also is B14. He has an impact case for his uh, iPhone also. Uh, the impact case um, is a polymer case, very high quality. Um, it has uh, simple uh, features and a very simple design. Uh, basically, it's made, out, as I said, out of polymer. You have, uh, a, it is a simple system. You simply pick up your uh, smartphone. In this case, it is the Samsung S20 Plus. You slide it in and you just put the cap uh, on the uh, top to keep the phone nice and secure on the inside. Uh, to have a snug fit, the uh, impact case has some foam inside so that the phone is nice and in place. It doesn't wobble when you're um, jumping or running or whatever it is you're doing. Uh, you still have access to the volume buttons. As you can see, you have them right here and the on and off. Uh, to put it on, you just slide the phone in. It does make a little bit of pressure. And then you put the rubber cap on the top and it clips in and you're good to go. You also have a rubber cap on the bottom, which I don't have here today, unfortunately. Um, so uh, this basically, the rubber, the rubber caps allows to absorb impact when the phone uh, falls to the ground. I do use uh, this case as my everyday carry case and I never had any problems with it. Uh, so quite happy. Uh, the phone has fallen about two and a half meters uh, of height and the uh, phone did not break. Uh, it is uh, still working fine. Um, the case uh, has this nice tactical shape. So if you like to have tactical stuff on your day-to-day -day, um, uh, life, it is definitely a thing that you should take a, a look. Um, the downside with these cases is that they are specific for a smartphone model. Juggernaut, uh, Juggernaut uh, makes cases uh, basically for Samsung Galaxy series and the iPhone uh, series of phones. Uh, they also have, I think, for the Google Pixel, but you know, basically you are limited to iPhones and Samsung Galaxy. Uh, they also have for some tablets, but you know, uh, you can check out their website. They have a chart. With all of these, uh, with all of the devices and uh, compatible uh, mounts and uh, cases, um, the uh, the impact case does not have any protection uh, on the front. Uh, so you know, if your phone falls face down, it does have a nice amount of height. But you know, if you have a rock sticking out or something pointy on the ground, it will probably break the uh, screen. Although you can buy a screen protector, you know, those uh, 
thin um, glass sheets that you can just stick on the surface of the uh, screen. Uh, but then you might have problems sliding the phone out. So make sure that you find a thin one so that you can still slide the phone in and out of the case. Uh, so uh, be aware of that. Uh, and of course, one of the things that we also don't like on the impact case is the fact that the cameras are not protected. Um, of course, on the real world, it's not really an issue because a bullet will destroy this. Uh, but you know, in Airsoft, uh, if a BB impact, uh, impacts the uh, camera, it will uh, destroy your lenses. So basically what I did is I put some Velcro uh, and then I just stick a patch uh, over it, as you can see, and the, the cameras are nice and protected. Never had a problem uh, uh, with this system. B14 has glued some plexiglass, which also works fine, uh, but you know, it would be nice if they came up with like a sliding door or something to protect those cameras. It's just an idea. Um, of course, uh, you can buy also uh, the, the mounts for your gear and that is the uh, Gucci stuff right here. Um, this is the mounts that you have for the cases. Uh, we are going to show you how to mount it. We are going to show you how everything works. So basically these mounts, um, are made of a very uh, bendy uh, plastic right here. So you can bend it, as you can see, it, it, it will not break. So this is gonna be much easier for you to weave it through the uh, molly uh, system. You will basically need three rows of molly and four columns. Uh, it's what you need to fit uh, this mount. So, you know, you can fit it, uh, for example, we're gonna show you on the combat systems Sentinel 2.0. We're gonna show you on the chest rig also. Uh, that is the amount of space that you uh, need. Um, you have the small, you know, excess uh, material to keep the, um, the mount from sliding off the molly, which is great. Um, then you have a hinge, which is adjustable. You can adjust the force that the hinge makes. Uh, so mine is quite stiff. I like it uh, like that. Uh, but you know, if you want it a little bit more loose, you just uh, unscrew. Uh, this small screw right here and you can, you know, tighten or loosen the hinge. Um, on the front, of course, you have the Juggernaut uh, case uh, logo. You have a nice uh, Velcro uh, panel so that you can stick a, you know, morale patches, flags, IDs, whatever you want to. Um, and the system is really simple. Uh, you have the small, like, teeth or claws and you basically just uh, Clip in your smartphone and you're good to go. Basically, this goes on your chest and you just open and operate uh, your device. Uh, we never had any problems with, these, with the phones falling off. This is quite secure uh, and, you know, I really uh, trust these mounts. Uh, very well designed. You also get uh, a small uh, bungee a molly adapter so that you can keep your uh, case closed at all times basically this bungee you have this small pull tab this bungee uh, and then you basic and then basically this goes right in here and you, so this keeps the mount from opening by accident which you when you're using your gun when you're using your sling this doesn't open by accident one of the things that I've done is put velcro uh, on the back so to add a little bit more security, uh, you really don't need it. It's just something that I did. Uh, basically, you have all of these, uh, usually plate carriers have here a, uh, a Molly Velcro system, and it just helps to keep the, the system more secure. It is something that I did, it's not mandatory, uh, but you know, it is, it is what it is. Um, this was the first mount that I bought with my bumper case. So one of the things that I don't like uh, on this one uh, is that the, this small paracord tab came out, um, but the newer uh, tabs are improved. So uh, that was a nice move by uh, Juggernaut. They really improved the tab. Uh, it is now, uh, it is made out of a much more higher uh, grade polymer and it really uh, keeps everything in place. It doesn't rip off. So uh, congratulations for that small upgrade. 
Uh, one of the things that you have to be aware is that uh, the mounts have different sizes also. Uh, so the, this will depend on the type of case and on the type of phone that you have. Uh, as I said, I bought this for my bumper case, which is an old generation case from them for my iPhone 6, which, you know, fits right here. Um, this is, I think, the five inch or five and a half inch mount. You have four and a half, five, five and a half, six, uh, inch mounts for different types of phones. So uh, when I wanted to change smartphones, I had to keep in mind that I would need a case that was compatible with the mount that I already had. So if you're, uh, if you're in that situation, don't forget to check if the uh, smartphone is going to fit or the case that you're going to use with the new smartphone will fit the mount that you already have so that you don't have uh, a sad day because this is not going to be cheap. Uh, the cases will, you know, cost around, uh, at least here in Europe, will cost around, you know, 60 to 80 euros, depending on the store that you get it. And the mounts will cost around, you know, 90 to 110 euros. Uh, this is not easy to find in Europe. So, you know, I think there's a store in France that sells them. Of course, you have also UK, but, you know, with Brexit, it's not going to be it's going to be easy, but you're going to pay more taxes. Um, but uh, it is not going to be a cheap system. But, you know, it has really a lot of quality. And, you know, me and B14 are really, really happy with the performance. And this has become an essential piece of kit uh, in our loadouts. Uh, in every game we are using this. It is just a great place to have your phone instead of having it, you know, on your pocket or inside the pouch where it's hard to reach or, you know, if you fall and if you have your phone in your pocket, you may break it. So uh, it is going to be on a very practical and safe location, which is right here on your chest. Um, so, so yeah, we really recommend this product. Uh, you pay for what you get. And this is definitely one of those high quality upgrades uh, or high quality products that you can buy for your kids. The downsides, as we said, proprietary cases for proprietary phones, you only for Galaxy series, Samsung or iPhones, uh, be aware of the mounts. Um, and of course, uh, the lack of protection, although the sleeve, which is the, uh, which is another model that they have protects a lot more the phone, but of course it's going to be a lot more expensive. Um, but it is, it is just the lack of protection of the cameras uh, and um, that, you know, they could make that sliding door that would be great, at least for us airsofters. I know that Juggernaut does not care about airsoft, but you know, it's just an idea. Uh, but if you want that ultimate protection, you have the sleeve and then you have, I think it is the Juggernaut case, which is a completely closed case. Uh, but it's just a matter of checking out their website to know more about their products. They also have other stuff, uh, very interesting products like vehicle mounts uh, with wireless charging, they have leg rigs, they have MOLLE adapters. Uh, so they do have a lot of stuff and a lot of solutions for your devices. So if you have the money and you want the best, this is definitely the way to go. Juggernaut case, so definitely check them out. Um, and, you know, basically that is our small review. Um, it, check them out, check out Combat Systems, Gators Eyewear, Contractor House, use our promo code Bishta10 and other videos from the channel or social media uh, and yeah uh, using our phone on the fields on a, a juggernaut case it is gucci we are larping and we are loving it so thank you so much for watching stay tuned for more videos